new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you Sony's plans to mass produce its new PlayStation 5 gaming console have been put on hold because of disruptions in the global supply chain forcing the company to keep cranking out older PS4 systems. The Japanese tech giant has initially planned to phase out the manufacturing of the PS4 at the end of last year and move to a full transition to its newer consoles. But now it is pivoting to produce as many as 1 million of the old models in 2022. After introducing the PS5 in November of 2020, supply has been scarce due to shortages in advanced chips and other commodities needed to mass produce the hardware. This past November, Sony reduced its PS5 production outlook. Initially, it aimed to make more than 16 million units in the year's end in March, but that number was trimmed to 14.8 million the older ps4 is cheaper to make and uses less advanced chips and software than its successor released back in 2013 the ps4 sold more than 160 million units and remains popular among gamers the ps5 which offers more sophisticated graphics and faster loading times than the ps5 was also met with great fanfare as of september of 2021 it has sold 13.3 million total units surpassing the 7.6 million units that the ps4 sold in its first year of availability nearly a decade ago sony told assembly partners late last year that is pivoting to manufacturing more ps4 consoles this year though the company spokesperson denied that it had planned to discontinue products altogether quote it is one of the best selling consoles ever and there's always crossovers between generations this past fall sony reported that a 27 percent increase in sales in its gaming division for three months fiscal quarter that ended on september 30th in total, the Japanese conglomerate gaming division recorded 5.7 billion in sales during the three-month period starting in July. Operating income fell 21% to 727 million, while the company generated 18.8 billion in revenue. Sony isn't only a gaming company that is relying on its older technologies to keep profit flowing during the supply chain crunch last year. NVIDIA, the U.S. firm that makes processing units for gaming consoles, vived its previous generation of GTX 1050 Ti graphics cards due to a shortage in semiconductors. While the company never officially discontinued production of the card, it was not listed for sale as recently as November of 2020. The card was first introduced back in 2016, but was gradually phased out in favor of the newer 16 series cards. Market Observer states that the supply chain crisis and chip shortages will likely last through this year. Because I know I got a, a, a few, uh, you know, PlayStation, you know, fans out here. And, um, you know, a lot of people always want to get on how old oh, PlayStation is great and PlayStation is that and PlayStation is making big moves. A lot of people still have not been able to get a PS5, right? And I'm pretty sure a lot of the population already has a PS4. So I'm not really sure who they're going to be selling these PS4s to and how these PS4s will be able to, um, you know, add into Sony's overall price point and selling point when it goes towards the PS5. Right. Like I said, I, I don't understand how that's going to work out. Maybe somebody can actually explain it to me because the last time Sony had to do something like this was back when the PS3 first came out the first year and they were literally losing hundreds of thousands of dollars right from every single console because originally the ps3 was about a thousand dollars when you go back and look at it then they cut about three to four directly off of that given pretty much the price point that everybody was able to buy a ps3 for and that's not even to mention the fact 
that originally the console was a thousand dollars right and then you have all of the uh the you know the other parts that sony has where you got the the little uh, i almost want to call them joy cons but you know you got all of the little products the cameras the extra controllers and the games so you know realistically that you know game console technically cost people if it was at the actual price it was supposed to be at people spent probably close to like fifteen hundred dollars plus on that system but sony was like you know what we got to take a cut on the blu-ray because nobody's going to pay a thousand dollars for this console and rightfully so the mass public of sony fans were not going to just like all right i'm about to just roll out here and easily just drop a grand on that like if you go back and look at that timeline, you know, back in uh, the time when PS3 was coming out, uh, you know, nobody had a thousand dollars just like really freely just drop down there. Like, it was a lot of things going on with the economy, you know, during that time. And the other thing I brought up to people during that time of the PS3 is that as soon as it launched within that same first year, like it wasn't even really out for a year. Um, you had an article that was written where Sony was already talking about the PS4, um, the chips that they were going to use and a price point. And I'm like, how people are just still automatic 100% Sony fans after Sony has continuously done things like this to the consumer base, like I said, is beyond me. But here we are right now where Sony doesn't have enough parts in order to properly make and distribute PS5s. So they have to redistribute an older console in order to keep money afloat, right? While their competitor microsoft has already quietly discontinued the xbox one which means that you're not going to be they're not making those anymore everything is full steam ahead on the you know xbox series s in the xbox you know series x so and i think pretty much you could probably still buy a um xbox one x but like i said i'm not sure what the production is on that but you know pretty much if you want to get a brand newer um you know xbox you can go for the s the s is the you know lowest of the price model it is also the cheapest at this moment in time and like anything else you can also go out there and just get a uh, external hard drive just to get you know some extra hard drive space directly on there since a lot of the games are um higher in graphical power which will then require you to have more space for the game and that's not even to mention the updates uh more than likely at this time if anybody actually wants to get a uh, series x you can probably find it but if you look for any of those consoles don't buy it for some astronomical price point buy it for something that is actually reasonable never pay like a thousand dollars for a console unless you got it <laughs> you know unless you got it unless you got that money to just be throwing like that where you can just like drop a thousand and you don't even got to look back at it you know it, it, it is what it is like i said go out there and you know and get that console um but i would say the most if you are going to like try to get a console at least make sure it's a bundle make sure it comes with like a, a headset make sure it has two controllers um, and you know some other things in there to at least justify the price point just in case if it's like seven or you know eight hundred dollars at least make sure it's a bundle you know that will justify that price point and it's not just the system and the controller itself like i said never pay eight hundred dollars just for that like i said unless you just so happen to got the money uh, but like I said before, I'm not really in the favorites bracket. I play one, one, uh, you know, one system more than the other because I have more people on it, which is the Xbox Series X. Um, but pretty much I got every single system. So <laughs> nobody can say it's like, oh, you know, you're just throwing favoritism. Nah, we got, you know, every console, you know, directly in this household, also including, you know, having PC directly on the side. So nah, like I said. I just want, you know, consumers out here who are gamers to be treated the way that they should be treated since, you know, we have we spent enough money to make, um, you know, these corporations, these businesses who they are today. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I listed in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.